Welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Al in the building and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of my experience in engineering school so far. So I've had a total of four semesters and we're going to be going through and we're going to see a realistic glimpse into what a real engineering student's GPA looks like. So freshman year, first semester, that's like the easiest semester I've ever had. And I feel like they should have like emphasized it more because it's really downhill after first semester freshman year. The difficulty level, it just gets higher and higher. So freshman year, first semester, I ended up taking five classes and I ended up taking a total of 16 credit hours. General Chemistry 1, Chem Lab 1, Engineering Design Thinking, which is like the general engineering course that all freshman engineers take. English class and pre-calculus. General Chemistry 1, I got an A minus, pretty good. General Chem Lab 1, I ended up getting a B plus, not too bad. For Engineering Design Thinking, I ended up getting a C in that class because the class was basically all programming and I'm terrible at programming. English, I ended up getting an A. And in Pre-Calculus, I ended up getting a B in that class. Overall, freshman year, first semester, pretty good semester. I'm getting a 3.18. And unfortunately, this has been the peak of my college career so far. It has went downhill ever since. Let's fast forward to second semester of freshman year. So I ended up taking a total of 18 credit hours. General Chemistry 2, Chem Lab 2, Engineering Design Thinking 2, Calc 2, and Physics 1. So in Chemistry 2, I ended up getting a C plus because I ended up failing the first exam. Chem Lab 2, I ended up getting a B plus. Engineering Design Thinking, I ended up getting a C in that class because once again, I'm not good at programming. Calc 1, I ended up getting a C. Try not to fail any exams because the way, like based off the way the class is like weighted, if you fail one exam, it might just mess you up for the whole entire semester. So that's what happened with that class. And then in Physics 1, I was just average the whole entire year. I got like Cs. It's either you get it with Physics or you don't and I just simply did not get it. That semester I ended up, fin I ended up finishing with a 2.4 GPA. Calc 1, Physics, Chemistry, and Engineering class. At the same time, I don't see how I could have done better. One thing in college you might see is that you might see that you put in so much hard work and effort and the grades just won't show for it. So after freshman year, spring semester, I ended up taking summer classes before my second year, Physics 2 and Calc 2. I ended up getting an A- minus in Calc 2. It was online, the teacher was really easy. Physics 2, I ended up getting a B. Two really difficult classes, I ended up getting an A and a B. So the teacher can literally make or break whether a class is hard or difficult. And I ended up finishing the summer semester off, raising my GPA to a 2.8. Fast forward to my first semester of my sophomore year. I ended up taking four classes, Material Energy Balance, which is like the first year chemical engineering class that every single chemical engineer has to take. Organic Chemistry 1, a film class, and Differential Equations, a math class. Let's start from highest to lowest. So in the film class, of course, I ended up getting an A in the class. Organic Chemistry, I ended up getting a B plus. And if you're a STEM student, you know that organic chemistry is like notorious for being literally the hardest class ever. Differential equations, I had a really, really easy, chill professor. Whatever was on the homework was basically what was on the exam. He literally told us what was on the exam. Material energy balance, I ended up getting a D minus. Cancels out all that hard work I put that semester. For the exams, there was no partial credit at all. So if you got like a question wrong, you got that question wrong. Second semester, sophomore year, I ended up taking the internship. So I didn't have to take any classes at all. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my experience so far in engineering school. So I just finished my second year of chemical engineering. I'm going on to my third year of chemical engineering. Right now, I currently have a 2.821 GPA, which is not too bad. The purpose of this video is not to scare you. I hope it didn't scare you. It's just to encourage you. If you have a bad semester, if you get some Cs, if you get a D, it's okay. If you have any further questions for me, please comment them down below. Questions about being an engineering student, questions, anything. Comment them down below and I'll answer your questions. Before you leave, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.